hey guys welcome back to my channel so the last video i was showing you guys how i make my sea moss this time i'm well in the last video i was telling you guys that i really want to take the sea moss and kind of shove it in as much things that i possibly can to ensure that i get the benefits of it um so this time i'm gonna try to make it in some banana bread so we are gonna make sea moss banana bread today i'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that i'm going to use because i'm gonna have to angle the camera down so you guys are able to see what i'm doing um so first ingredient is obviously sea moss some sea moss gel um well and obviously some overripe bananas that i have here vegetable oil some vanilla extract uh, it's not focusing but yeah you can use any vanilla extract this is just one that I got from Walmart uh, some coconut milk cinnamon nutmeg what am I missing some um, baking powder some baking soda and some flour um, <laughs> sugar we're gonna add sugar in there and we're also gonna add some salt Okay, so yeah, now that's all the ingredients. I'm going to, again, angle the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? Alrighty. Hey guys, I'm not sure if I mentioned that this is actually my first time making banana bread. So you guys are getting to witness me make this for the first time. First thing I did was I um, peeled two overripe bananas and those bananas were like ripe ripe i think they've been in my fridge for like maybe a couple of weeks one of them was actually a bit watery but um yeah we're <laughs> using it anyways um so i added one cup of cane sugar to the bananas and i'm just mashing it all out I'm pretty sure I was supposed to mash the bananas before adding the sugar, but again guys, like I said, it's my first time. <music> So now that we have all the bananas mashed out, mashed, mashed out, we're gonna go ahead and add some room temperature water. From my understanding, you can't make the water too hot because then it'll cook the bananas and you don't wanna make it too cold either because then it'll freeze the bananas. <laughs> combining all of our wet ingredients in a separate bowl we're gonna add all the dry ingredients and then we're just gonna combine everything together afterwards FYI guys in the video I added two half teaspoons to add up to the one teaspoon of baking powder that is required for the banana bread <laughs> Of 
most forgotten ingredient again it's my first time guys don't judge me but yeah we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a big ass tablespoon of sea moss. Um, because the mixture is cold, the sea moss is obviously not gonna melt out into it. So I'm just gonna use a fork and mash it out as best as I can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was supposed to add butter like back in the beginning when I was doing the wet ingredients but again guys my first time don't judge me After doing a little taste test, I decided to add another big ass teaspoon of sea moss. Okay, so as you've seen, I just put all of the ingredients in. Um, I had my mom here helping me as I was doing it, and as you couldn't tell by watching the video, I'm definitely not a baker. This is my first time doing this, so let's see how it turns out. So I just um, preheated my oven to 350. <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna put it in there and leave it there. It's okay. You're gonna hear my daughter in the background This is real life guys um, And then I'm going to leave this in the in the oven for an hour At the end you see that I doubled up on the sea moss cuz like after I tasted it did like a little taste test to see how it was tasting it tasted so good I'm like I need to I think I feel like I want to add more sea moss in there so I added another tablespoon in there but again i will list all the ingredients of everything that i used and how much at the in the description box okay so i will show you guys so this is what it's looking like right now hold on i need to angle the camera again hopefully i don't make a mess it's okay mom you can come in here with her this is some real life stuff i have a baby everybody knows this hi mom okay so this is what it is looking like right now and then I'm like I said, I'm gonna put it in the oven for an hour at 350, and then I will show you guys what it is looking like when it's done. What? The night he died. So I'm just gonna check and uh, see if it's cooked. I just got my I knife here, and I'm gonna timer. stick it into the the banana bread and see if it's cooked. Six months ago, he changed everything. Let me witness and execute a whole new so good. But who is different about the old man? You and Simon won't mention that at all. They're all in the middle of their kids. Why the change? I have no idea. I asked, but like I said. So I just stuck it in the middle. Around, As you can see, see there's still. Um, it's still not done <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it in there for about like another I say 30 minutes 10 10 minutes okay so I'm gonna leave it in there for 10 minutes and then I will check it again and then see where it's at sorry All right. why don't you to, I'm not putting the whole thing I'm cutting a piece I'm not taking the whole thing out of here okay. um 
Sorry guys, my mom is like wants me to be a perfectionist in this video. I'm trying to be real. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna cut piece and let you guys see. Or, yes, I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like, okay? Well, maybe I should. You guys wanna see me cut it? Yeah, I don't need to see me cut it. I'm gonna show you. Should I put some like icing sugar on top to make I'm just asking. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's cut this. Oh. Mom, can you do me a favor? Hold on guys, I'm gonna get my phone and ask my mom to record. You wanna, can you help me? Yes, I can. Okay, and so I can record cutting the, the banana bread and then I can insert that into the video somewhere so you guys can see. Here you go, Ma. I don't know if you're gonna have to do it with Brooklyn in your hand though. Okay, Brookie. Sorry, Brooke, Brooke. Give mommy a second. Yeah, she's gonna start screaming. Okay. So just record, come closer. And you can talk to everybody see my hands. They're not gonna see your hands. You're recording like this. Okay. Okay. So I already cut here. I think I feel like I need a knife. I love the. Oh my goodness! I know because I don't have anybody told you to put it on a plate. So well, you should have said that. No. You said put it on a plate. You didn't say like okay because it's gonna fall apart. Are you still recording? Yes, I am still recording. Okay. Next time Sorry. I listen to your mother. Next time I listen to my mom and okay, thank you. Put it in a plate and make it all fancy. Okay. But I'm gonna show you guys here. Oh, let me get closer to this camera. You can turn that one off. Now you're recording. You see? So this is what it's looking like. It's nice and moist. The um, crust on the top is nice and crispy. Is that the word I'm looking for? Crispy? Yeah. So now we're going to taste it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It tastes good. Mm hmm. For my first time making sea moss banana bread was a success, guys. So this is so good. <laughs> you think you I gotta go, <laughs> go give some to my daughter. She's staring at me I like uh, I'm my mom. <laughs> I'm going to leave um, the ingredients at the bottom in the description as well as the measurements that i use um and yeah if you guys end up trying this please tag me let me know post some comments in there and so i can come and check out your videos thank you guys so much for watching and um i'll catch you guys in the next video all right bye